Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. I have an interesting question here. We are asked to write an equation of a hyperbola with the vertices and asymptotes. Now, if you remember, the hyperbolas are the ones that's opening up, um, opening up in the sense that ellipses um, are closed. Ellipses are closed, and hyperbolas are either this direction or this direction. Okay, so they're opened up. And I always got a question from students, how do you remember which one is which? Okay, here's the thing. The ones that's open on positive x has a positive term. Okay, so the curves rest on the x-axis, then the x term goes first. Okay, square equal to 1. And the ones rest on the y's, y goes first. So it's y squared and it's um, b squared. Okay, minus um, x squared over a squared equal to 1. Okay, this is how you remember it. So if it's a positive, it always goes first. So positive goes first. Kind of like in life, right? If you're positive, you get things first. So think of it that way. Uh, next thing we need to do is this term here, as you can see, when x equal to a, then the y is equal to 0 because it's on the x-axis. This part goes to 0. So uh, we were given the vertices is at 4 and 0, negative 4 and 0. So from there, we can safely arrive at the conclusion that a is equal to 4. Okay, so that's um, one variable left to go. So we need to find a b. The, the asymptotes are kind of like cross safeguards for this curve. Okay, so curve is over here and asymptotes uh, approaches to the, um, the curve approaches to the asymptotes. Now if you notice that there's a box over here, okay, and the box gives us the slope. And this one is off a little bit. So if you look at this one, the slope of this line is f is equal to b over a. Okay, this part is a, so this part is b. b uh, y part of which is rise over run is equal to a. Now when we're given the slope b over a, and it's plus minus half x. Okay, since uh, ha plus minus half, we're given that y is equal to plus minus half x is the line for the asymptotes. So from here, we see that b divided by 4 is equal to half, which gives you the b is equal to 2, that's a 2b equal to 4, so b equal to 2. And now we have everything we need, b equal to 2, a equal to 4, and we know the curve, once again, vertices is here, so it has to rise down the x-axis, and positive goes first, so x squared, 4 squared, minus y squared over b squared, which is 2 squared equal to 1. Okay, so here's the answer. Okay. Once again, let's do a quick review. So when you have a hyperbola, first thing you need to know is, is it resting on the x or are it resting on the y? How are you going to remember that is always remember positive goes first. In life, if you're positive, you get things first. Same thing there with our hyperbola curves. Once you know that, from the vertices, you can figure out what a is. And using the asymptote line, if the slope is equal to b over a, you can figure out what b is. Okay? And then given a and b, the equation for hyperbola is easily arrived. All right, hope this helped, and have a confident day.